All right then, ladies and gents, how's it going? How's it going in DDD? Just out on the V85, and I thought I'd uh, introduce you to my Zard exhaust pipe with baffles out. But it's a rubbish day, and um, yeah, not perfect, not brilliant. And keep that bike from a down. But I thought, while we're here, seeing as we're not going to be able to do a nice sound test, um, with a ride by and stuff like that. I'll, I'll wait till we get into spring or something for that because uh, once the weather's nicer, it'll be easier to do, it'll look nicer and um, I'll also have more revs to play with on the bike because it'll be run in by then. Whereas at the moment, I'm still on sort of half revs or two thereabouts. But anyway, um, yeah, so the Zod is now de-baffled and it sounds a little bit better. Um, it's still quite quiet, although um, I'm guessing that's still the wind noise issue just making everything else more noisier. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, I fitted a sat nav, I fitted a, uh, a ball mount to my dashboard there, and that makes things a little bit easier. Um, I don't have a problem using my phone as a sat nav, but I don't really see the point in doing so on a motorbike like this, when there's mounting options for sat nav, and I've got a very good sat nav. <laughs> kind of seems a bit silly to have all that tech and then not use it. we go got rid of that one hey oh yes um so yeah i need to tie up the wire on it a little bit um i thought it was going to stay tucked in but it's it's flapped out a little bit so if i stick a cable tie on that that'll make that a little bit nicer to look at um yeah it was an absolute pain in the bum to uh rig the wiring for it because the tank on this is made out of many many pieces and it's like a blooming Jenga jigsaw puzzle or something or other to uh, work out how to get the tank off, especially as the light is fading because um, that was what was happening, winter and all that. But yeah, I got it fed through the uh, the tank plastics and stuff. Uh, Katutni is such a huge petrol tank, there's an awful lot of air gaps. Uh, it's kind of odd, really. Um, these side panels on it, these white side panels, are just plastic air gaps. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just, a, just a, a plastic tank underneath all of that. Um, so they could have even given it a bigger tank and then you'd have had 500 mile range. Quite easily, quite easily. I've also fitted these muffs. So now my McDonald's paint job is now a McMuffin. Or I'm riding on my McMuffin. Um, <laughs> and I don't know why I've never had these before. I know they don't look particularly nice. And you, but on this bike you can kind of get away with them not looking particularly nice because it, it doesn't matter, it's a utilitarian motorcycle. Um, but they're amazing and with the heated gloves as well, I've got the heated gloves on setting one which is the coolest and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's really toasty warm, it's proper awesome, proper awesome. And I'm able to wear my summer gloves, which I think is lovely because I don't really like wearing winter gloves because they're thicker and uh, less feared and all that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's kind of kind of a nice little game changer this. It's taken me a little while to get used to them because I've got to remember where all the switches are and stuff underneath them. <laughs> but uh, it's nothing I can't contend with. I very much don't think these exhaust pipes are going to start worrying the, uh, the residents of, of Petworth like uh, my old ones would have done on my V7. <laughs> So that's a good thing. At least I'm not going to be annoying anyone. And to be honest, it's a, a touring bike and I don't really want massively fruity exhaust pipes for that anyway. The more observant of you will also notice that I now have a, uh, a different mount for my camera as well. Um, it's now more central on my face, which I prefer to watch videos like that, get a bit more symmetry. Um, and it was doing my, my head in watching my footage with it all to one side like that how I had it previously um, and I can confirm that Sugru is removable from shiny crash helmets well, I took it off and uh, cleaned it all up with just a, a wet cloth and um, uh, some washing up liquid and it all came off no problem at all now I'm not saying in every situation it will come off like that but in mine it came off with no stains at all so I'm quite pleased with that so any of you more vloggers who are worried about using Sugru might be worth trying, testing it and stuff, um, but yeah, I didn't have any problems getting it off. But it does all depend on how you're mounting it. Um, so yes, I've uh, 
got the camera essentially mounted on this new thing that someone um, showed me on the motorvlog.com forum and uh, yeah I quite like it um, it allows you to get around the curve issues of crash helmets which is kind of cool I'm still having to use my Hero 8 I did buy a GoPro Hero 9 recently and I'm very much looking forward to using it but until they make it work with the uh, microphone adapter um, it's, it's useless to me so it's getting dusty and it might get sent back if they don't fix up soon get that firmware version 1.5 out please GoPro you're losing more faith all the time the camera does look fantastic though and I'm very much looking forward to playing with it um, it's the increased battery life on it that sells me the most uh, but um, it does have some nicer features and I'm looking forward to getting hold of the uh, max lens for it when I get the opportunity to as well recently I uh, repositioned the pin lock visor insert on um, this helmet because it was um, condensating a little bit down the bottom and I've mostly sorted the condensating down the bottom bit but now it's condensating a little bit up the top so maybe I fixed one problem and caused another um, but yeah it's uh, it's something that I'm a bit annoyed about because when I bought this crash helmet the pin lock had already been fitted and that's the first time I've ever bought crash helmet where they've pre-fitted the pin lock for you and it makes me wonder if maybe it was a, a, a helmet that had possibly been returned to them I don't know I don't know or it could have been a display model I don't know but yeah not, not impressed with that um, I've always sung the praises of Pinlock and the insert that this comes with is supposed to be the daddy of them um, they do two versions of it the one that you get free with most crash helmets is the crappy one it's not crappy it's really good it works very well um, but they also do a more wintry one which is this one and this comes with it as standard um, and for it to work worse than my standard pin locks on my other crush helmets is it's just kind of a little bit annoying <laughs> it seems that I've caught the uh, the issue that afflicts the Missenden Flyer with white vans um, all the way through this ride today I've had to wait pull over and stuff like that to get rid of white vans and now I've got another one in front of me damn it <laughs> Um, but we're pretty much there. I didn't really have a lot to say in this vlog. I just wanted to um, cover some of the, the changes to the bike that you can see. Um, the sat-nav, the, the uh, McMuffin muffs and <laughs> um, the uh, Zard exhaust pipe. But sadly, um, I don't know if you really can hear the Zard exhaust pipe. Um, yeah, we'll get that sorted. We will get that sorted. Anyway, right. I'm going to go and enjoy the soggy weather with the cameras turned off and I can just enjoy the riding. So uh, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you like the things I've done to the bike so far, um, why not give it a little thumbs up? And if you didn't, you hate the V85, you smell a cabbage and wee, and you're a stinky stinky D, then feel free to give it a little thumbs down. I don't mind, I don't care. Um, but please do drop in a comment, I love hearing from you. And um, yeah, how have you managed your sat navs if you've done sat navs? And what exhaust pipes have you gone for if you've done exhaust pipes? Anyhow, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. Keep that bar. Rubber side down. Keep that bar. Rubber side down.